so today i am gonna do another makeup tutorial for you guys and if y'all are interested in seeing how i did this look then just keep watching you guys my freaking my kitties you know if you see the mess but my kitties they're all over the place i haven't even updated y'all and told y'all that i got kitties and everything but i don't know there's a lot of going on in my life so i was like let me just talk to them and do like the get ready at the same time because they told me that y'all like when i do these talk through videos and long videos or whatever and y'all also gave me good feedback about the back camera y'all were like bro the the quality is so good blah 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 and i was like bitch yes so i think i'm gonna just start doing my videos like this and just have to get used to it like not looking at myself but looking at the camera i already um did my eyebrows off camera this is not how i have like do them or whatever at the end i always go and finish them up and the reason why i don't fill them all the way in in the beginning and just have it done because i don't like when the powder and like other stuff get on my eyebrows so i rather finish my eyebrows when everything's done so i could like wipe away like any axis that falls on it because i do end up putting glue to like pick up my brows or whatever so i don't want the powder to stick onto the glue you know so i've been using my bh cosmetics ultimate brow palette looks like this i got this like years ago you guys and i love using this for like clients and stuff because it has like a variety of different eyebrow shades and eyebrow colors and then at the bottom right here these are like gel forms so like you can mix it with the powder and it'll be into a gel form or you could just use the powder by itself which that's what i did um i just mixed the darkest and the lightest and just kind of like not apply a lot of product on it but i apply a little bit just like fill in a little bit of the gaps just so it looks like color in my eyebrow you know and then i use my ruby kisses eyebrow brush which this is my favorite eyebrow brush because the tip is so thin so i like to use this for like my gels my powders and all of that but anyways now getting into the eyes like i said this is going to be like another um video for like my birthday shoot or whatever because i did tell y'all in the last video that i'm trying to see how i want to do my makeup for my birthday shoot because my birthday shoot is friday and it's currently well it's two in the morning so it's basically wednesday so in two days my photo shoot oh my god oh my god i'm getting nervous oh my god i'm getting nervous already okay hey, louise base and this is in rumor 05 so this is like the second to lightest shade that they have and it's really light as you can see and i like it because this primer is for your eyes and i, I like i like to use this for my eyeshadow so my eyeshadow can blend better and the colors pop out more okay so like i was saying yeah i got freaking kitties you guys i feel a little lonely so i was like might as well get kitties and my friend was saving you know my friend's kitties had a, a baby had babies so i was like bro i need me one and then i didn't even i didn't know how to choose and i feel bad choosing so i actually got siblings i got a boy and a girl which everybody was telling me um that i'm gonna have to have like how do you say i don't know like spray my cat or whatever i don't fucking know they won't have babies or whatever but anyway so going in with my be perfect carnival three palettes so it looks like this i'm gonna go in with the shade cocoa this is the shade cocoa right and it's basically like a like terracotta raid i don't know if i want to do okay i'm just gonna no yeah i'm gonna just do that one okay okay so i'm gonna start off with using my brush and i'm using the jessup tapered blending brush uh-uh, Lulu. Oh my god, if you hear my kitties playing in the back, don't even mind that. But anyways, so I'm just going to pick up some product. And again, I like to do, I like to tap the color into my eye just to set that base before blending because I don't want it to move around. Alright, so I actually did this eye off camera because 
the eye wasn't like the eye color let me hold on let me see that closer yeah the eye color wasn't coming out how i wanted to like the shade or whatever so like i said i did go in with the be perfect carnival palette and went with the cocoa shade but honestly i did not like it so then uh i went in do not judge me okay do not judge me i've been having this palette for almost four years since honestly since like the first day that it came out i got the jacqueline hill first palette which it looks like this look at this shit look my daughter's been through all this she she mixed it all i used it on everybody so like it's all messy this is this was put away actually in like my little makeup case that like makeup that i don't really use anymore and i was like you know what i think i need some of the shades in here and which i did use and obviously i this was my favorite shade so i used this one and then i also used the dark shade and this one yeah so anyways i'm just gonna show you but like always i am gonna go prime my eye my lips are freaking dry and i can't even do anything about it because i, I haven't have even showed you my outfits but i like i told you in my last video i was gonna show you but then i don't think i do because i want to like have the photo shoot as a surprise like, the, like everything you know like from the from the photo shoot like the freaking outfit to the photo shoot and like everything you know but then i'm like uh, i should probably show you but whatever so basically what i'm wearing is gonna be like five different outfits or it depends if i want to even use those outfits depends on the day but for sure i'm gonna wear like a hot pink sweet sequin um dress and it's like a little long and it has it's like really sparkly and it's pink and then i also have a black sparkly one and then i have like a plain pink one and then another plain um which i don't think i'm gonna use that one yeah so basically the colors are just black pink and light pink so obviously like whatever i do with, with both the eye looks that i'm showing y'all whatever will match but i just don't know which one to do because i'm already like i already have a lot of pink and then my look is pink my dress that i'm for sure gonna wear is pink but then i'm like if i'm gonna wear the black one okay you know what you see you see like the pink one would balu ser mas, you know but this look is still gonna have pink in it so what use that cocoa shade again and just put the same amount of product that I use on my other eye. Um, we're just gonna do the same thing. Even if I didn't like it, the reason why I didn't like it is because if you see, it's like showing up red, you know? And I don't have nothing red. So I was like, bro, I fucked it up. But I didn't wanna take off the makeup and start all over again. So I just went with it and mixed shades. And I got this one, which this is a good color, you know? It's like a nude color. Let me my lip. It's like a nude color, so that's exactly the color that I wanted. Cause at first I was gonna go in with like a cool tone shade or whatever, but then I didn't end up liking it, so whatever. The black one first, which this one is like a dark brown. Crazy at first, you guys, but trust me, it's gonna come out good because obviously I see that one. But anyways, let me just start talking. Basically, I'm just gonna put this shade in and then the mustardy shade and cut the crease. But I don't want to make this into like a full in-depth tutorial like I did the last one. But then I do. Because at the same time, I want to talk to y'all. You know? I want to talk to you at the same time. But anyways, I'm just going to try to hide a little bit of that red undertone. Because like I said, I didn't really fuck with the red one. So that's what I'm doing. Bro, I got so into the freaking Squid Game little trailer series or whatever the fuck it is. Bro, do you see my cats? Look at them. Look at them. Wait. Look, look at that, look at that. Look at that. I'm gonna give y'all a little preview of what it is to have kittens. I didn't even, like, I don't, I didn't really care for cats, you know? Like, I would rather have bought a dog or whatever, but my daughter loves kitties. <laughs> look at that. Look at that. She loves kitties, so she wanted me to get her one so bad, so I was like, fuck it. I'll get her one so yeah like i was saying i didn't want it to be lonely so i got two but this kitty life ain't easy bro what does it look like that on camera what the fuck hold the fuck up don't do me like that bitch don't not do me like that let me concentrate i'm just kidding um anyways like i was saying i got into this little squid shit movie series or whatever the fuck and bro i'm so ready for season two like i love i love and hate those type of freaking 
series because first of all it gives me mad anxiety okay because like i'm like <gasps> what's happening what's happening who's gonna get killed like everybody's dying and shit so it gives me like mad anxiety at the same time but i freaking love those type of freaking movies series whatever the fuck you want to call them and anyway so i'm gonna cut my crease so i'm just gonna go ahead and add a little bit of the base again yeah anyway so i freaking love them that i even started watching other like korean movies or whatever and bro i was missing out on these shows and shit like what the fuck i actually fuck with these um little korean shows i have seen them on like tiktok like little clips of like korean movies and shit and shows and stuff but i never really got into it but now i see the hype i know why people fuck with it because i started watching another show and then another show and then another one and another one and actually my favorite one after the squid game was also the alice in borderland it's kind of like the same thing like like freaking game movies that fucking kill people and like all this shit but bro it makes me think like bro when i was watching that show with my sister because me and my sister like i told you before we're we're into fucking conspiracy theories and i'm like bro this is the type of shit that people with money in real life do bro like people like the government people do you know how like I was thinking, I was like, you see how they freaking basically kidnap them and then manipulate them into like go into this game bullshit because, you know, some people be in debt, in financial debt and, you know, they just want money or whatever the fuck is the case. And I'm like, bro, like go kidnap and like you never fucking find them and shit. Like That's the type of shit that I was thinking that goes on in real life. And I, I really do think it, it's true because then like at the end, you see how like well, disclaimer, if you haven't watched it, watch, go watch it right now. And, like, fast forward to, like, 30 seconds of my talking because I'm going to talk about this shit real quick. And I don't want to ruin it for you. Period. But anyway, so, bro, and then, like, when the old mans were, like, basically betting for, like, to kill people and shit. Like, bro, I, I swear to God, this is what I, I literally believe this shit. Like, I was telling my brothers, I was like, bro, this is real life shit. Like, I know this is what fucking rich people that fucking like to kidnap kids and kidnap people and, like, watch them be killed for fun. It's what they do, like, honestly. Because, bro, like, do you have you seen that Jeffrey Epstein documentary and, like, the whole shit about his island that he would take kids and, like, basically, like, famous people would go to his island and fucking you know either old kids or do whatever they wanted to do with kids or whatever so i make my glitters pop if i put them all over my lid i put the same color that i'm using which i'm using silver so silver glitter so i'm gonna go in with a silver eyeshadow and put it as like the base so you won't have like no gap showing through of your eyelid so i'm gonna go in with that um come on, see with that shade which this is from the jeffree star palette and if, like I said before, if you don't have this palette or whatever, and you have a little gray, if you have any gray, metallic gray eyeshadow, just use it, bro. But I fuck with this one. Look at this shit. Look at that. I don't know, but Jeffree Star makes some badass quality eyeshadows. Anyway, so yeah, I was saying like, bro, like this is what the fuck they do, bro. Like, like in the Jeffree Epstein, like how he exposed the people, but not really, you know, because it, it, it was like, you know, obviously the government people are going to fucking try to make that shit not look real as possible. Like, oh, it was all made up and blah, blah, blah. But, bitch, how can you make that shit up about the famous people that went when there's literally proof that they had went? And then he real life had a fucking island where he did all that shit and it was proven. And that's why they killed that motherfucker because he was going to expose him. But whatever. So, anyways, that's what I was thinking. I was like, bro, this is what the fuck rich people really do in real life. Oh, my God in real life like down to everything like bruh and then like at the end how he fucking tries to touch that guy or whatever but it's really like police cop or whatever i was like bruh you see old men are nasty they like little boys they like little girls like that's why the whole piece of shit like bruh look if you know you know that's all i'm gonna say i should watch the piece of documentary of like kids and shit but anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and now start applying the glitter. Again, I apply my glitters and everything with my eyelash glue. And then I'm using my Libra glitter. Which, if I don't know, obviously I'm a Libra because my birthday is on October 18, baby. So I'm going to use that one to apply, obviously, the glitter. I'm using this little brush right here, right here. You see, you see, you see? It's like a little fat brush. And this is the Jessup 230 Luxe. I'm 
going to go ahead and apply a little bit of winged eyeliner, but I'm not going to extend it. I'm just going to put that eyeliner you're going to see. I'm just going to make a straight line across and then put the black eyeshadow on the line and start blending it just in that area. wait for the eyeliner to dry a little bit so i could apply the eyeshadow and start blending it but anyways if you haven't watched the little squid game things like i feel like you really should because i recommend it but anyways how y'all been how y'all doing talk to me in the comments because y'all already know i fuck with y'all i fuck with y'all hard and i love responding to every single comment well i try to anyways okay i think it should be a little bit dry already so i'm just gonna pick up that black shade from the jaclyn hill palette with this little small detailed brush and i'm just gonna pack it on just right there where the line's at you see just to cover it up and it don't matter if it gets messy down here you guys because i am gonna clean it up with a makeup remover you just want to make sure you can't see that line so it looks blend in, you know? And I'm gonna grab a makeup remover and just clean up everything, like the fallout. This is why I do my eyes before my foundation whenever I'm gonna do like a dramatic eye look because then if you do your base, like your foundation and concealer and highlight and all that, before you do your eyes and you do a look like this girl all that shit's gonna mess up you're gonna have to take it off and do it all over again so i definitely recommend if y'all don't know this do your eyes first if it's a dramatic look and boom you see just a oh hey mama what's wrong look oh look i'm gonna show the camera this is lulu you guys say hi lulu hey mama She's sleepy. She's purring. But look, she's a little camera shy, as I could tell. Oh, okay, hold on. She's going to scratch me. Hold up. Well, they're a little shy, so I'm not going to show them right now because they're probably tired. They just got done eating. And they're only awake because I'm awake. I already know that because they love to fall asleep with me. So, yeah, let me just play in the back. But anyways, now I'm going to go in with my lashes. And I'm going in with these little lashes. They're just like... They're long, but they're like natural to me to me i'm gonna go ahead and apply the lashes and then come back on camera to start my face okay. so now that the lashes are applied i did moisturize my face with the daily greens oil free moisturizer so it is just an oil free moisturizer and then now i'm gonna go ahead and prime my face and i'm using the elf poreless putty primer like this and i'm just gonna grab a little bit because a little bit of this goes a long way i'm gonna apply it right here and then right here and then i'm just gonna apply it everywhere okay now i'm gonna go ahead and apply the foundation i'm using the beauty creation stay flawless foundation and this is in the 4.0 but this is too dark for me you guys so i do end up mixing it with the huda beauty foundation this is in cashew 140 g this looks darker on camera than it is in person but let me pump it out a little okay see it's it's really light okay it's really light shade and these are both super full coverage foundations you guys so and then okay you see it's a little light but i think it's fine right oh no oh no no it's a little too light okay okay now you're doing too much bitch it's too light beauty creations on top of it bro you see how fucking full coverage this is bro what the fuck hold up this is too this is too much because the huda beauty by itself is already a whole ass mask look at this Trying to hide any acne, any hickey, any blemish, any freaking bros, girl. This is the one for you, okay? The, this mixture is the one for you. This is too light. I look like I am ready for Halloween. So now I'm going in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in 22 
like neutral i already know a lot of guys a lot of y'all probably be like bro this is that is too much makeup but look this is the this is a photo shoot makeup you guys this is a photo shoot makeup tutorial because this these looks that i'm doing is for my photo shoot i'm just recording it to see which one i like better you know and like i said on your photo shoot you guys you always have to have more full coverage because the lighting and everything in the studio when you take your pictures everything looks more my face and my under eye i'm gonna be using the anastasia loose setting powder in banana All right, so now that I set my face, I also um, glued my eyebrows just back. And I'm not really fucking with the brows lately, you guys. I think it's because I need to go get them done. But I don't want to get them done until um, Thursday, which is tomorrow. Because I want them to be clean for the day of my photo shoot or whatever. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and use my Hula bronzer. And I'm going to start basically contouring my... applied my highlighter my lip liner and i'm gonna go ahead and finish my eyes and the highlighter that i use is the anastasia amrezi one just if y'all are wondering i can't really open it because it's gonna fall but it looks like this so yeah i just applied this to my cheekbones and my nose and then um my lip liner is from kiss and then i'm gonna apply a little bit of my anastasia Anastasia Velvet Matte Lipstick in the shade Rouge and Libres. Looks like this. It's a really pretty matte. I'm just gonna put it in the middle. Y'all yeah, already know how I am about my motherfucking nudes. This is the Kiss Luxury Intense Lip Liner. And it's in the shade Brown. So yeah, it looks like this. I get this at my, looky, at my local beauty supply store. I feel like they sell them anywhere but in the beauty supply store so anyways so i'm gonna go ahead and add my neon pigment which these are the neon pigments that i used to sell you guys if y'all are here for my og um collection that i came out with last year i came out first with neon pigments and glitters before i came out with eyelashes and i feel like not the neon pigments didn't really sell as much so it was kind of like a test trial and i just stopped selling them but yeah like look i even have my logo on there and these work so great you guys i love them because you can mix it with like mix and medium and make it into like eyeliners or freaking all types of shit but today i'm just gonna open the pink one and you want to be real real careful with these because they spill everywhere and get messy so as you can see look at all that powder so hold up so literally you literally need a little bit of this this shit will last you like a lifetime you guys like like an eyeliner for the waterline instead of putting black or anything in there i'm gonna do like a pink waterline so i'm gonna go ahead and use this little pencil brush this is the um pencil brush eyeliner brush this is the morphe m250 a tiny bit like so you see that that i have to press it not swipe it because It goes everywhere so like this you know it gives you like a little pop of color All right, guys so this is the end of the product i already applied my mascara and then this is just like the little pop of pink color that i was talking about uh excuse me i think it like it's something different it's something new but i don't know about it for like my photo shoot i like it maybe without just the pink one and maybe apply just like a pink 
eyeshadow underneath my eyes instead of putting it inside my waterline i could put it underneath and probably look better you know what i mean um but y'all let me know if y'all fuck with this if y'all like this look or if the other one y'all like it better or what should i do different what should i I do since i did tell y'all like my outfit colors or whatever but yeah you guys i hope you enjoyed this makeup tutorial and if you want to see more give this video a thumbs up remember to like subscribe and comment up below if y'all really fuck with me <laughs> but alrighty, guys i'm gonna end this video here and i'll see you on my next one bye guys <laughs>